everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another Lego minifigure collection review. In front of us, we've got every single Lego Lloyd minifigure ever made. So this is the update video, really. There are 40 different versions of Lloyd which is kind of crazy to think about. We're going through the collection chronologically from what sets they came out in and how much they are worth. So anyways, before I jump into that, I did want to say that we do have instructions for Lego creations at our web store, www.brickvault.toys, also linked in the description below. But anyways, let's jump into the collection. Like all of our collection videos, we're gonna be going through these guys chronologically from what year they came out, what sets they came out in, and how much they are worth. I'm also gonna be comparing the old prices from the last time we did this video to the updated prices somewhat like a year, year and a half later. So jumping right in, the very first Lloyd isn't actually the green ninja version of him. This is Lloyd Garmadon as a kid. He came out in three different sets, uh, the Rattlecopter, Fangpire, Wrecking Ball, and he also came out in his own poly bag. His price has not changed, he's still $7. And the detailing for him is kind of interesting. Some ribs and also a sash going down the front. This is the expression for his faces. And these two expressions don't change for the rest of the Lloyds this year. Now we get our first Green Ninja version of the guy. This is Lloyd ZX. He appeared in the Epic Dragon Battle as well as the Lloyd ZX set. And you can see right from the very beginning, uh, Lego didn't really skip out on any details. He's got a lot of good sash printing as well as chainmail. The mold for the shoulder pauldron's pretty good and he also has a silver emblem on the top of his cowl. He is $11 now, which actually makes him one of the more expensive or rare minifigures to get your hands on now. And then this is Lloyd from the final battle. He is Kimono Lloyd or whatever you want to call him. His detailing is actually quite similar to that of other Kimono ninjas that came out at around the same time. His cowl is gold and the base of his body is black, which I actually think looks pretty good. He came in the Ninjago character encyclopedia hardcover and is still Still worth $10. Now the detailing is almost the same when we jump up to 2013. This is the Golden Ninja. This Lloyd has almost the exact same detail printing, honestly, as the Kimono one. Just of course, a lot of the colors have been inverted. He appeared in the Golden Dragon, Temple of Light, and also later he came out in a uh, fun pack for Dimensions, but that doesn't exist anymore. This is a $9 Lloyd regardless. And when we jump up to 2014, there are five new Lloyds. I know in the first video, I said there are four for this year. I'll tell you which the last one is and why I added them, but still the new design printings for this year are pretty darn good. This first one is Lloyd rebooted with golden armor. It's the first time we get to see his blonde hairpiece. And he also has a new single expression, which lasts for quite a long time. The printing for his body has been kind of sectioned off into three pretty uh, different chunks with a little bit of chain mail, some kind of explosion energy detailing, and also just some wraps in the center for his chest. His price has risen to $7. He came from the Overborg attack set. And then this is Lloyd Lloyd rebooted without golden armor, he's just got nothing. Uh, he is from the Nindroid Mech Dragon set and his price rose up just a dollar to five bucks. Then this next guy, as well as the one after, I think are probably some of people's favorites. This is the Stone Warrior Armor Lloyd. Uh, his armor printing is actually pretty fun looking. He's got a bit of solid armor by the shoulders, more chain mail, and one of the larger sort of belt buckle emblems that any of the ninjas ever really gets in the series. He is $7. He came from the Battle for Ninjago City set. And now we move on to the single most rare and collectible of any of the Lloyds from this entire collection. This is Lloyd DX, or the Dragon Extreme Suit Lloyd. He appeared in the minifigure gift set that was the Target exclusive from 2014. And his price has risen to $20 a fig. This kind of detailing exists on all of the ninjas at some point. They're all slightly different dragon details, personally. I think the gold and yellow looks pretty darn good together. And all things said and done for how popular this character is within the LEGO community, I'm surprised the most expensive one is just $20. Check out our Star Wars collections if you don't believe me. Now the green ninja that I added to 2014 came from the LEGO movie. He appeared in the Super Secret Police dropship 
The detailing is exactly the same though as the first version of the green suit Lloyd that we saw in 2012, only now the only difference is his expression has changed to the updated one that we started seeing this year instead of the one we had in 2012. He is six bucks and then we have what I believe is our second most rare Lloyd to get your hands on. This is the evil green ninja or this is Lloyd possessed by Moro. He appeared in 2015. He's the first of the 2015 figs and he was first in the City of Sticks set as well as the Attack of the Moro Dragon set. Part of the reason why he's so rare and exclusive is that every single part that makes up this minifigure is exclusive just to this character. So he didn't appear in any other sets than those two. That means the head, torso, legs, and both of the layered armor pieces belong to just this guy. And personally, I think they did a really good job detailing this minifigure. I love the fact that his legs and torso come in the dark forest green, which pretty much never happens in any other case. 2015 also had four other Lloyds released, three of which are exclusive printing to the bodies. This first one is our first all black Lloyd, or nearly all black Lloyd. In reality, what we're looking at is the deep stone armor. In fact, this is what the armor looked like before before he turned evil. So the evil Lloyd in dark green, that was uh, kind of the messed up version of what this is originally. So you can see the emblem has not cracked open or anything like that. This Lloyd appeared in the final Flight of Destiny's bounty set as well as the Temple of Air Jitsu. He is a $7 fig. And then knee pads or Zukin Lloyd is up next. The detailing for his body is very similar to the rest of the ninjas that also came out at around this time, only they have different weapons kind of printed onto their body with slightly different symbols. They each have a unique symbol printed onto the top of their cowl. And this particular Lloyd appeared in the Enter the Serpent set. His price has risen to $8, which is doubled from the last time. And jumping up, Tournament Lloyd is next. He appeared in the Jungle Raider set and his detailing, kind of like the last guy, is almost exactly the same as pretty much all of the other ninjas that came out with these kinds of sets. Currently, he goes for around $6 on Bricklink, and then the last of the Lloyds from this year is almost the same as the Stone Armor Warrior guy that we got from the year before, only this time he doesn't have the shoulder armor and he's got the original leg printing on the bottom, so he's a little bit more complete in one way, less complete in another, and this particular version of him came out in the Build Your Own Adventure book. He is six bucks like the last guy, and now let's jump up to the year 2016 where we get a bunch of new dudes. Half of them are versions of the Skybound Ninjas, my personally least favorite looking version of any of the ninjas, so let's just start off with these guys. This is kind of the most basic version of the Skybound Lloyds. He appeared in the Sky Shark set. Just really not a big fan of that tornado detailing that we get on so many of the characters. The only other thing to really point out about this guy is that his cowl is now black and green, so it's dual colored. But I don't know, doesn't really do anything for me. He is a $5 fig. And then this Lloyd that has the hair instead of the cowl piece came out in the NRG Dragon set. He is four bucks. And then the last version version of the Skybound Lloyd from this year appeared in Misfortune's Keep, and his detailing has been covered up with a much bigger black armor piece, which is I guess a little bit better. This guy is four bucks like the last one, and now let's jump into the other guys. Here's kind of a throwaway one because this Lloyd came from a Junior's set, so he's got a rebooted torso with a ZX hood. He's kind of just a spare parts Lloyd, really. He sells for four bucks. And then this Lloyd, the Day of Departed Lloyd, came out in the Samurai X Cave Chaos set and appeared in a few other little releases as the years went by. The detailing on his body reflects that of what I think a lot of what the original ninjas looked like, not necessarily what Lloyd's original detailing looked like. And you can see the colors for his cowl have also inverted this time to dark green and regular green. Because they appeared in a couple books years later, his price has gone down from $7 to 6 bucks. And then the very last Lloyd of this year is by far the most unique. He's the Energy Lloyd, or sorry, he's the Air Jitsu Lloyd, but he really just looks like he's exploding with energy. Uh, personally, it's a little bit of a tacky look. Pretty much all the guys have the same detailing, just with different symbols. I think the face print detailing is probably the best part about him. He appeared in the Air Jitsu Battlegrounds set, and he sells for five 
dollars. Now we're catching up with what the collection looked like the last time I did this video. Only two figs came out for 2017 when I did this video last time, but there are 11 figures total that came out for the year 2017. So let's go somewhat in order, taking a look at the Hands of Time Lloyds first. The detailing for these guys are actually pretty darn good, I think, with the dark green bodies and a lot of uh, lighter green highlights with a few metallic highlights as well. This guy came from the Destiny's Shadow set. He is a $5 figure. And then this Lloyd is slightly different coming from the Dawn of Iron Doom set with just the black armor. He is $6 for just, I think, that extra piece. Then we finally make it to the Lloyds from the Lego Ninjago movie. This is by far the most common version of the character. He appeared in the Green Ninja Mech Dragon set, Garma Mecha Man, plus two others. The expressions on his face have now changed, and you can see he's got the updated cowl as well as a completely new set of prints. Personally, not big fan of the black, though I do think some of the other ninjas that came out for the Lego Ninjago movie actually have some really good printing. This is just a $3 figure, he's just so darn common. And then we get an almost same version of Lloyd, this time he's got a hairpiece. Now the updated hairpiece instead of the cowl, he appeared in the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimate Weapon and he's $3 as well. Well, one of the more unique Lloyds that came out from these sets was the kind of casually dressed hoodie Lloyd with uh, jeans and stuff. He came out in the Ninjago City Chase set as well as the very large Ninjago City set. He is $2 and now we get the Lloyd in the white training gear, which is a really, really fun print. I like this one a lot. He was at first just exclusive to a junior set, which actually would have made him really expensive, but he also did come out in a foil pack as well. This is a $5 figure. And now let's see some of the collectible minifigures from the collectible series. So this is a pretty standard version of the Lloyd that we just saw. Uh, and really what makes him collectible is what he has in his hands, which looks like blueprints for the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. Also a figure from the same series is this casually dressed Lloyd. He's got the same print as the guys that came out in the set, though this time he's got a wonderfully uh, printed bowl in his hand and a specially molded hoodie with hair kind of sticking out the front. Front. Both of these collectible figures are $4. And then we get a few more Lloyds from Polybags. This is the Kendo Lloyd, which is actually a version of Lloyd that was skipped from a very early generation of the ninjas. So that's kind of cool that we get him in the later form. This is also $4. And then we get Lloyd once again coming from a Polybag dressed casually, but now you can see he's wearing his ninja robes underneath his hoodie. So it's a unique print that way. Also, this Polybag, I believe, has a unique single expression for this character too. The last Lloyd is also kind of funny. He's from a foil pack. This is the guy that came out the year before, only this time he's got some golden armor and he's got his old hair piece again. He is $7 and now let's jump up to 2018. Nine different Lloyds, believe it or not, also came out this year. So basically the collection doubled in pretty much the last two years of releases. And there were a decent amount of new prints included this year, but let's knock out some of the repeats right off the bat. This first guy, came out in the Spinjitzu Master Set as well as Ninjago City Docks. He's unique because he doesn't have printing on his arms by his wrists. Uh... Yeah, he's basically unique because they just put in a little bit less effort to the production of this guy. He is five bucks. And now we have the Spinjitzu Masters Lloyd from the Sons of Garmadon. He appeared in the SOG Headquarters set. And this is a much better energy bursting out print version of a ninja than we got from the previous iterations. It still feels a little bit funny with some of that detailing kind of getting cut off when it comes to the legs. It would have been cool if that energy detailing went all the way through and through, but you'll see why it didn't in just a moment. This is a $4 figure, and now we've got one of the better updated prints for the ninjas with this next guy coming from the Ninja Nightcrawler set, also from the Sons of Garmadon. His body is back to a solid green with an interesting lime green highlight with uh, some reflective detailing that come down the center. His wrappings are done in gray, and personally, I think it actually looks pretty good. I wasn't expecting to like this print, but I think it does actually outline this green ninja pretty well. The color combination of that new cowl piece has changed now to solid green with just a black band. And this guy sells for five bucks. While the slightly different version of Lloyd coming from the Temple Resurrection set, he's just got the uh, the new scabbard piece on his shoulder. 
Uh, that guy is four bucks. When it comes to season nine, the hunted season, the printing of course changes once again for these guys. So this is the updated print for Lloyd. The arms have changed back to the darker green while the green body is completely covered with a lot of dark green armor printing. It looks like the entire body of Lloyd is totally covered in scraped up armor, which is a totally new look for the ninjas. This first one is from the throne room showdown where he's locked up. He sells for five bucks and this later Lloyd came from the Oni Titan, a relatively recent release, and this time he's got the cowl instead of the hairpiece. I believe he also sells for around five dollars, and then this is probably the weirdest Lloyd now that we're getting into the polybags. This is the Wu Crew Target training polybag. I believe Mia was also in this one, but Lloyd has a different hairpiece for the hair. It's just kind of like your standard surfer guy hairpiece. The printing for the body is the same as the last training version of Lloyd, and the expressions for this guy are slightly unique which is just strange this guy just feels strange it feels a little bit soft and kind of odd he is five dollars and then we get the black wuku training version of lloyd or two different versions of this guy this is from the turbo poly bag he is seven dollars and basically the prints are just in black and gold and i think maybe gray or silver really really good looking details though i like it they feel a little bit subtle that seven dollar fig is with the cowl and then we also get a version of him from the lloyd foil pack or one of the foil packs with just his hair same printing uh just hair instead of the cow that is a four dollar fig and guess what we just knocked out every single lloyd minifigure ever made so that makes up 40 different iterations of this guy which is absolutely insane considering uh just a year and a half ago or slightly less than a year and a half ago there were basically half as many guys generally speaking i think lego has done an excellent job just changing up ninja designs to keep the characters interesting and fun and not too reiterative or redundant i don't know what the next theme is gonna be i hope it's a good one and let me know what kind of collection you guys want to see me do in the future we're gonna be doing a lot more of these update videos i'm sure of it and if you've stuck around this long in the video thanks so much for watching we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey everybody, wanted to pop in really quick, let you guys know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. It's definitely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that create these amazing Lego builds. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Remember, that's www.brickvault.toys, and uh, we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.